Hello, uh, so today I wanted to show you something. So I came up, I came across this website called um, Control Challenges from Janis Mack or Janis Mack. So thanks um, to him for sharing this. Uh, this is so you can go for example the tutorial you need to get this block to stop here so you have to write some code it's all javascript and you <coughs> so you have multiple challenges so the first ones are quite easy this one is the the same code i used for the first uh, part would work on this one that's why i didn't um, change it this one is up and then you have cruise control so the first three are PIDs this one is a PID also the next one is a um, is a PID also but with um, varying parameters like the wanted speed and uh, uh, inclination how's it called and then inverted pendulum Th this one is is a bit it's already a bit harder so uh, what we want to do what we would like to do is let me show you So if we have no force, we want to control, it's a well-known problem in control. We want to control this, inver uh, this pendulum to keep it upright uh, without having, uh, with just moving this cart. So if I click here, if we don't have a force, this is what happens. So it just swings back and forth. To solve this problem, um, I used so inverted cart pendulum. Where is it? I think it's this one. So the first thing is to get the equation of your model. Uh, for this, you just use either the Laplace uh, equations or um, Newton's equations. So you go with starting from the forces you derive so here you derive everything it's, it's not that hard it's a bit time consuming but uh, as soon as you practice one or twice it, it's not that hard i mean of course it gets harder for more complex problems but for this one uh, we, we know the problem quite well and then you get these uh, two equations then we linearize it so if we want to if we want to control it um, on a, on on the linear uh, point around here around the top position we linearize it linearizing it is sinusify so if we linearize around zero uh, we can see that sine is equal to uh, here it's a line so it's x sine of x is x and cosine is zero sorry cosine is one here around around this point cosine is one <coughs> so that's what we do and then the squared since we're around zero everything that is squared here is equal to to zero so this is what i was talking about the, we get these two equations then so this is the force we apply this is the angular acceleration and we want to write the space state uh, equation for this so we want to know how does the speed and the acceleration um, evolve with respect to the position and the speed and the same for the angular velocity and angular acceleration and for this we just derive it from here so we take these two 
we take oh, I don't have enough space here okay we take this to we replace x2 dot equals so we make ml go through this side to this side and then we replace it here and we will get something with just theta dot and theta two dots and then we we will have theta two dots equals something equals u so we will get theta two dots equals this multiplied by x dot this multiplied by theta plus this multiplied by u so it takes a bit of time and a bit of paper but uh, it's not hard neither and once you get this so this is important when we get this uh, what we want to do so if we study so I, uh, we, we can study this the first thing is to study this to see if it's stable and to see if it's stable we look at the um, st stability root locus so where are the the eigenvalues of this matrix because the eigenvalues of this matrix will tell us how um, how will the energy I, I highly encourage you to watch this video of uh, sorry I forgot his name he's do Brian Douglas he's doing a huge amazing job uh, on this so he explains it better than than I do way better than I do and at some point you see when he when he explains how to um, how does the eigenvalues here how does the eigenvalue influence so if you have a negative eigenvalue that means this lambda is negative that means the solution the evolution of the system is exponentially decreasing which is not the case uh, if, if the eigenvalue so here so if, if you have the, an eigenvalue or all eigenvalues here you will have exponentially decreasing if you have it here the energy will increase if you have it here you will have a damping and if you have it here you will have uh, so it will stay the same so we want to be here um, if we calculate for this we can study the, the system to see how stable it is so sorry I need to get back here so for this we need to study this system to see how stable it is um, <coughs> we can use MATLAB that's the industry standard or since I don't have MATLAB I used a Python library named Python control systems library and uh, on this library you can so I just use the Jupyter Notebook, Google Colab. You can put your system, your A matrix, your B matrix, matrix, C matrix, and then you say you create the space state uh, model. And oh, I did it twice. Yeah, I don't need to do it twice. Uh, and then we can ask for the root locus and then plot it. So we can see here that we have one point here, one point here, one point here. No, maybe not. No, one point here, one point here, one point here. And as I said earlier, we want all of the our roots to be on the left side of the zero uh, axis. So for this, we will uh, we have this place function where we give it the a b. So here again, I highly encourage you to watch the Brian Douglas uh, video because it, he explains why do we do this. Um, so the idea is to choose a system we want to um, oh wait I can I can I can explain it a bit better so when we have this we can put whatever we want in you uh, as a force since we know all of the system we will put u equals x so this multiplied by k so and then we will so we will have this is the b matrix b u sorry b k x and then we can um, f uh, factorize and then get this a matrix minus b k 
multiplied by x and then this minus bk so a is fixed b is fixed b is this but the k uh, is free so we can choose the k and the x are these variables so we will look for the right k values to get the response we want and for this we will use this other this uh, function place we give it the a the b and we give it these these are the the root locuses we want so minus 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 and then uh, we, we just run it and it will give us these values and then we need to as a feedback so u will be equal to x multiplied by 48 um, uh, x dot multiplied by 62 theta multiplied by minus 38 and theta dot multiplied by minus uh, 51 the only problem here is that I don't have the right A and B matrices which change everything because I don't know in this in this problem I, I don't have them anywhere so the, the A and B matrices are function of uh, have it here the function of the mass of the length uh, of the shape and I don't have any of this here maybe I'm missing something or maybe not I don't know but uh, as soon as you get them you can calculate the right uh, you, you will have the right a b matrices which will give you the right uh, here um, uh, sorry, the, the right uh, factors. Uh, an important thing to note is that so th there are solutions if you if you click here. So what they do is this. I, I can remove this. We don't need this this sign. Uh, so this is interesting because basically for this simple problem you can have it uh, understand it intuitively because the first thing we want to do if, if I do this the first thing we want to do is to work on theta so we, we've got a bit like the same thing we've, we've got the four states and then we got uh, a coefficient here so th this is the equivalent of the of the case k so we got I, I mean these these four um, so we, we can just first try to make it stop around this and then it doesn't work so we will then add uh, a friction term. So th this derivative, it's like added friction on the pendulum swinging. See, it's already doing better. Now what we need is to do the same, but for the x and not for the pendulum. So we will, oh, sorry. Wait, I did something wrong. Yeah, you see? So this is stabilized because we worked on this, but uh, this the, 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 on the x-axis, the movements on the x-axis are still not working correctly. So what we will do is first add the proportional term, term on the x-axis. So it works a bit better, but it's not perfect. As you can see, the x-axis influences the y-axis, so it's not, it's not perfect neither and then we add the friction on the x-axis and now it works quite well and it's not I mean it can, can, can go 500 uh, 500 is not strong enough maybe if I, if I reduce this 250 80 so I reduced everything by half 
and it does work also the same so it's important to know how much of this and this and this unit that's why we have the the place function i hope this was helpful